Hi, Chef Heiken, your customer service and experience expert. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to recognize what a customer wants. Now, on a recent flight, the captain of the airplane announced over the PA system what time we would arrive at our destination. Now, that would have been enough to make most of the passengers happy. However, he continued his announcement with a more than three-minute speech. We learned that we would take off to the west, make a U-turn, and a few minutes later, head to the east, and how high we were going to go, the various cities we'd be crossing over, and that we would take a right turn as we approached the runway to land in just a few hours. Now, I looked around and noticed that many people were annoyed or had stopped paying attention to the long-winded announcement. The point is, most customers don't care as much about the details of the journey as much as they care about the destination. Now, here's another example, which has nothing to do with the journey, but does have to do with an overload of details that can hurt a sale or erode the customer experience. Some people love a fancy and expensive sports car, while others just want reliable transportation. Even though these customers essentially want the same thing, which is a car to get them from one place to another, they're very different customers. So a few years ago, my wife and I were looking for a new car. We narrowed it down to the make and model, even the color we thought that we wanted. We walked into the dealership and were approached by a salesperson who was very friendly and engaging. And we told him what we were looking for. He took us over to the exact car that we wanted. And he was very excited and he started to share details about the size of the engine, how many cylinders, how quickly the car accelerated from zero to 60, the RPMs and other details that really didn't matter to us. Had he asked why we were interested in this model of the car, he would have realized that we had no real interest in the details of the engine. Our version of the destination was that we wanted a nice looking car, and it was, uh, that was comfortable, safe, and easy to drive. Now, maybe we wanted to know a few other details about the car, but nothing to do uh, with the engine and to the extent that he was sharing. Had he paid attention, he would have noticed he had us when he said, I have the exact car you're looking for. My point is that most customers don't care about the details behind the experience or the product that they're buying. It's up to us to recognize this and respond accordingly. All they want to know is what awaits them at their metaphorical destination. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.